Hello, John Phillips here with Mansfield University's Computer Science Department. In this video, I want to show you how you can uh, use GitHub to host your own student portfolio of work. All right, so to do this, uh, first, and there's several ways to do this, but this just gives you an idea of what's possible. So first, sign in. And I'm going to sign in as a user named VocaWeb. And you go ahead and sign in as your own GitHub user account. If you don't have an account yet, create an account. Okay, so I'm signed in as user VocaWeb. You're signed in as yourself. And what we want to do is go to yet another user's page. And so after github.com, put a slash and put Prof Phillips. Okay, so here I am on Prof Phillips's page, a different person than, than the account I've logged in as. And you could go to any GitHub page. There's all sorts of cool software on GitHub. And if you see something you like, then go and look it over, go to the repository. And the one we're gonna do is Portfolio Bootstrap. So click on that and look it over and you'll find directions for what I'm covering here at that location. And then when you see something you like, go ahead and click fork. And then that'll take the source code and put it on your own site, your own GitHub site, where then you can modify it and make it make changes and make it into your own project. So we'll click fork. Okay, so now I'm back on Boca Web. This would be your name here, Portfolio of Bootstrap forked from Prof Phillips portfolio bootstrap. Okay, and now what does this page look like? Well, I'll give you a link here. So if you want to right click and open that in a new tab or a new window, you'll see what it is that we're going to end up with. And so you could take this and change everything to be your own name, add your own description, of course, your own resume. This just gives you an idea of, of what you can do. And the nice thing about using Bootstrap is as you resize your window or if this is being viewed on a smartphone, it'll still look good because everything's set up to resize so that it looks nice. Okay. And so that's what we're going to end up with. So here we are. We've, uh, we've, we're, we're on your page. Go ahead and click Portfolio Bootstrap there and make sure that what we're looking at is your your work here. Um, okay, so what we want to do now is we want to clone this and we're going to put it on our Linux server. Now you can clone it anywhere you want, but I'm just going to go through the example of doing this on our the Linux server we've set up in previous videos. So I'm going to click clone and it says to clone this use this particular uh, uh, HTTPS um, github.com your account name make sure it's not Boca Web or Prof Phillips should be your name there portfolio bootstrap and then I think it says dot git so we'll copy that to our clipboard okay so that's pretty much basically what we need from that page what we want to do next is make sure we have our, our Ubuntu LAMP server running and we we'll use putty to connect to that and actually I just copied that but I'm going to need to Let's see if I still have that running. You might need to copy and paste your public IP server address. Let's see if mine's still, mine's still okay. But otherwise, you need to type yours in there. Um, and so we'll go ahead and open. Log in as... I'm going to go ahead and be the user jdoe that we created previously. And I'm logged in now. And where we want to put this is over at uh, in our public HTML folder so we can test it out and develop it. Hey, once again, you don't have to do this. Um, there, you could do this on your Windows computer. You could do this on your, um, on your uh, Mac OS X computer. So here we are in our public HTML folder. Now, uh, you need to make sure you have Git installed, and so we we do from previous work we've done. But to check that, you can say um, git dash dash version, 
And there it is. And we need to see if we set our configuration. And we have, that should be your name and your email. Uh, if you haven't done that yet, the readme file that I pointed you to earlier uh, tells you what to type. Just get config dash dash global user dot email and your email and user dot name and your name. Okay, so now um, we want to clone uh, our repository that we just forked. So to do that, you say git clone and then the name of it. And so um, that's that's where now you want to uh, copy. And we got all sorts of pages open here. Let's see, that's where you want to copy this from your clipboard. And then just put that to the side. And then right click if you're using PuTTY. And that will paste it in there for you. So we'll hit enter on that. It says it's cloning it. Okay, so it's done. And if we do ls, we see, oh, we have a portfolio bootstrap folder now. So let's change into that. So we'll say cd and a couple letters and hit the tab key enter ls and that's what there ls space dash la we see there's a hidden dot git folder that's tracking any changes we make we see a resources folder let's see what's in there and that's where all of our jpeg type images and our resume docx and pdf files are located so if you added any more images that kind of thing that's where you'd put them in the resources folder all right, so the main file to, to edit, we see we have a bootstrap downloaded. Uh, the main file to edit is our index.html file. And uh, so let's take a look at that. Uh, so I'm going to use Vim. And of course, once again, you could be doing this on uh, a, a GUI type computer and that would then give you better access to uh, some of the web design tools. But you can just edit all of this manually using uh, Vim if you want to. So let's change the title. So instead of Doe, I'm going to get in the insert mode by hitting I. And I'm going to try to keep this just very simple editing. There's, of course, all sorts of um, commands you can be using in Vim to do this. Change that line up there. So I'm just staying in the insert mode. Uh, author, content, your name here. And so this is just metadata. You know, it's not going to really do a whole lot for us, but you'll probably want to go ahead and change it. All right. Is there anything else? No, I think we're ready. We're using Bootstrap. Uh, if, if we wanted to use just uh, our own little style section, we can do that like I've done here. Or you could, of course, link in your own style sheet after the Bootstrap style sheet. You might wonder, well, where's all the other Bootstrap stuff? Well, Bootstrap you put down at the bottom of your file. So if we go to the end, <coughs> which is a Shift capital G, I should have oh, yeah, only if you're out of the insert mode. So hit Escape Shift capital G just to get me down there right away. And there you see the uh, Bootstrap kind of stuff. Uh, it uses jQuery, and uh, so you can look at, you know, scroll up and down and look at the document. To go back to the top in the command mode, once again, hit escape if you need to. It's just GG, two lowercase g's, and that takes you right back to the top. Um, also, you can go to any line. Let me just mention this other Vim command real quick. You can hit a shift colon, and then whatever line you want to go to. So say I want to go to line 50. And you can turn line numbers on. I covered that in a previous video. So you got all sorts of stuff. And page down and page page up and page down should work as well. All right, so here's my style section. So feel free to modify all of that as needed. And then instead of Jane Doe's portfolio, change this to be your name. And I think I got to take that S off there. John Phillips portfolio. And then you want to change, you know, what it's saying there, of course, put, put it into your own words. You want to upload your own resume and change the names, obviously. And then go through and whatever projects you've done, add them in here. 
uh, just like I've done here. So I think it should be pretty self-explanatory how all of that works, more or less. And whatever you don't understand, just go through a real quick uh, basic um, um, bootstrap version 3 tutorial, and that'll get you up to speed with the columns and things like that. All right, after you get it the way you want, hit Escape, colon, WQ, and just make a few changes to begin with. Uh, so we want to just make sure this can work on the server. Now, since this is on the server, we can launch a new web browser and view it there. Let's say you didn't want to use the free hosting at GitHub, which you probably do, but let's say you didn't. Let's say you're going to work in some uh, some sort of scripting language type activities. Then th those wouldn't work on uh, GitHub. You'd have to do that on your own server, most likely. And so... Um, I need the IP address of that server. Let me go back and grab that. And what else? Uh, well, I guess I'll just put it right here. So control V and that gets me to the server's default web page. And then I want to do a slash tilde JDO. So that gets me to this user's boot page, and we see they now have a portfolio bootstrap folder. And if we click on that, then that comes up. Notice the changes that I made with my name. Of course, everything else still needs to be changed. All right, so that's kind of the steps you go through. Now let's say you've made some changes here, but you want to put your changes uh, up, on, uh, boot, uh, up on GitHub, where it can be there for free. Okay, there it is. It was over to the side. I missed it. There it is. So there's my uh, Boca Web Portfolio Bootstrap, be your name, of course. So how do you see your web page up on GitHub? Well, instead of github.com, start it off with your account name, your GitHub account name. So Boca Web dot GitHub, and instead of com, put IO. .io. So that's when you want to look at your web pages. It's .io, and then put the name of the port. Uh, yeah, the the um, the repository that you want to view the for the web. And that came up not working. BocaWeb.github.io portfolio bootstrap, and I'm pretty sure I did it right. So there was one thing missing there, and that is even though I forked this repository and it worked over there on Prof Phillips, the reason it's not working here is I haven't changed my settings for this repository yet. So I need to go to settings. And down in settings, you have quite a few options. You change the name of your repository if you want. Um, and what we want to do is deal with GitHub pages. And you got lots of documentation you could go look at on this. And there's, there's some nice varieties. For example, if you don't want to use Bootstrap and you want a simpler kind of setup, you can just use uh, GitHub's pages to build one for you. Uh, you. Just choose a theme and then you can use Markdown and get it set up real nice. So I'll click on this. Now you can put it in your master branch or your master branch docs folder and that could be useful for, for projects as well. But let me just go ahead and uh, master branch. Let's try this and see what happens. It was um, Boca Web, so your name, dot github, dot io, like that. And it says there's nothing there, but we didn't quite finish it. Slash, and it was portfolio boot strap, like that. Let's see if that works. And there, that time, bocaweb.github.io slash portfolio bootstrap, uh, your name in place of Boca Web, your account name. And uh, it still doesn't look right. Oh, okay, so it still says Jane Doe. And that's what I should have expected, right? Because we haven't finished over here on our server. We have it updated so our server's page looked right, John's portfolio. But we haven't taken what we've changed and put it back up on GitHub. So how do we do that? Status. And there it says, oh, you modified index.html, but you haven't done anything with it. So we need to say git add index.html. 
or we could do a shortcut, but let me just do it this way. And then we want to say get, you can make any other changes you want. Let's do get status again. So now that file's green and it's ready to be committed. Uh, so to commit it, you say git commit. Yeah. Oh. Uh, dash m. And then in quote marks, whatever you want to say. So uh, change uh, index.html name. Okay, something like that. All right, so it's committed. And then uh, the final step now, um, we can still look at the status as, okay, everything's good. And now the final step is to do the git push command. Now it already knows where to push it to because that's your uh, where you cloned it from. And, and so it'll go right back to that same repository. So uh, username, local web, and the password. Of course, use your own username, your own password for GitHub. All right, that looks a little better. That time it's pushed some things up there and we could go back here and where we're at, bocaweb.github.io, portfolio bootstrap, refresh. We still don't see anything, but if we go to the, uh, let's see. Uh, go back to our project and look and it says okay index.html updated a minute ago we could go look at the index page and we'll see that um, there it says John's portfolio and you know some of this stuff that I changed is showing up right here so why isn't it showing up over here well it can take it like five to ten minutes sometimes it does it pretty quick sometimes it takes a bit more so there it was what three or four minutes it took and uh, for it to update uh, even though it's updated uh, in your repository it, it just it takes a little while to sync it to the uh, github.io page that you have and so give it a little bit of time and then uh, refresh it and you should find that whatever changes you made are now showing up and then you have uh, a real nice website that will scale and still look good on uh, smartphones and tablets and things like that. All right, so that's pretty much it. That's how you can do your own uh, uh, kind of advanced uh, student work portfolio uh, that you might use then on your resume and other places to share with uh, or for internships and to share with employers when you apply for a job. Okay, um, that's it for this video. Uh, thanks a lot for watching.